Hi there folks, it's me Hayden. I use he, him, his pronouns. I am a Crown program staff here at Crown College. This is the start of the tour, virtual tour for Crown, starting at the program's office, and I'm going to give you guys a little explanation and tour as I go along. Uh, yeah, so we'll start. So where I am right now, it, right over here are the Crown Academic Building. Uh, this is where most of uh, faculty and other staff host office hours when uh, in pre-corona times. Right over here is the back entrance to the dining hall. This is not an entrance you're supposed to use. This is actually a uh, fire exit. Over here is the Crown Programs Office where we make all of our flyers and uh, where uh, all the magic happens behind most events. Over here is the side of Banana Joe's. This is actually more of a grocery store slash eatery, usually in pre-corona times. Here is the built entrance to the faculty office. Usually you can go right in, but it's locked right now. And there, there over here is more of the faculty office. The whole building is right here. There's also benches for you to do work. So here at UCSC, we also have separate receptacles for recycling and trash. We usually have more recycling than we do trash. If I move on to over here, there is the entrance to Banana Joe's. Uh, unfortunately, it is closed at the moment. Over here is the entrance to our Crown Merrill Dining Hall. And right next to that Crown Merrill Dining Hall is what we call the Fireside Lounge. The Fireside Lounge is a place for usually students to study. Unfortunately, right now it is closed, so I cannot give you an inside view of it. As I spin around, we're going to see the Crown classrooms. This is usually where core is held when, uh, when Zoom classes are not in session. Also right here is what we call our Crown Fountain. Uh, this is, originally was a fountain, an actual fountain that like had water and whatnot. Unfortunately, there was a tree that ended up bursting a pipe, and so now is a wonderful art piece in dedication to not only alumni, but also is to one of our students who originally helped with this uh, courtyard and planning. And so right now is it a mosaic piece, and it will eventually be redone in the future. Right over here is the crown mail room. So usually what you do is you go into the front and you hand someone your ID and they can get to you your package. There are also, I can give you guys an inside tour if you like. I'll wash my hands later. Actually, there's Jermax. So this is the crown mail room. The crown mail room is where most of your mail and packages you'll get if you are on campus. Sometimes, when school is more in session, you will end up sharing a mailbox. And so, this is not mine, but left, right, left, and then right again to open. Please remember to wash your hands. And so right over here is what we call our admin and faculty building. Uh, this is where you go to see advisors, or if you need to get your sticker for the new quarter once regular in-person classes resume. I would like to show it to you over here at the plaque of Crown College. This is has been here since the beginning, since 1986. This is actually the full name of Crown. And yeah. This is right here, what we call Crown Circle. This is where all the drop-offs happen, where you, you usually drop off for college or if you ever need to take an Uber somewhere. Right here is the entrance to Crown College, where we originally come in from. There are multiple, uh, actually, campus mail stops, as well as actual mailboxes here at Crown. So I'm gonna head on this way, and we're gonna go over to the dorms. And also at these dorms, we have something, we have what's called upper quad and lower quad, but right now what I'm gonna show you is upper quad. And so each of these dorm buildings hosts one quad, as in one four-person room, uh, multiple doubles, very few singles, and com more commonly a triples. Here 
here is the upper quad lawn. Uh, commonly, when in-person whatnot resumes, you'll see people playing volleyball. So right over here is Galen House. Over here is Harvey, where I actually lived in my freshman year. I would give you guys an insight tour, but unfortunately they are locked at the moment. There is Maxwell House, as well as Leonardo House. And they all share this one courtyard. And occasionally when in-person uh, gatherings resume, we have on this wall particularly what's called a movie on the wall. And so in this wonderful lawn, we will project a movie onto the wall and everyone sits outside, watches it. It's pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and float on over to Lower Quad now. Also, if any of you play Pokemon Go on campus, there actually are multiple Pokestops. The Crown Fountain is a stop, as well as I believe what's called the Crown Library, which is actually over here. There are two floors to this establishment. The bottom floor is the Crown Library. The top floor is what we call the Writing Center and the Senior Commons. The Writing Center is where you can go to print out things if you need them. And the library is a really cool study space. That door right there is the entrance to the library. And then the Writing Center is on the second floor as well as the third floor is the Senior Commons and Computer Lab. Also, you will commonly hear this entire building be called the Crown Clock Tower. Guess why? Because there's a clock! So up these stairs is the entrance to the top floor of the Crown Classrooms. It's not open, unfortunately. But here's the entrance to the Crown Classrooms. And over here is the entrance to the Crown Senior Commons, which is up there, and the Crown Writing Center. And behind this door is actually the Computer Lab. Over here is the entrance to the second floor of the faculty buildings. And look, that's where we're gonna go next. That's Lower Quad. Let's go. Harvey, that door right over there, right there, is where I used to exit out of all the time to go to class. So this is one of the dormitories. Again, each dormitory here at Crown hosts a one four-person room, which is the quad. Multiple single-person rooms sometimes. It depends if they turn to doubles or not. Um, but there are more triples and doubles than there are of singles. There's usually only one or two singles per floor. Right here is Gauss House. Gauss House is commonly for returning students only, although I believe with each dorm in the current COVID crisis, they have not just returning students live there. Right over here is Descartes House. Right over here is Rutherford, hidden by all these trees. Another thing you'll notice about UCSC campus, very few buildings have signs. The signs for these buildings, I actually have to walk to, so that way you guys can see them. That is a sign. It's very difficult to see. I heard a friend. You'll see many friends here at UCSD campus. It could be a squirrel, it could be a deer, it could be a turkey. I would also be warned, look out for mountain cats. Fun fact about UCSC, there's only one squirrel across the entirety of campus just running at light speed. This is the Galileo House. Hello. Another thing to note about here at UCSC, we highly recommend you stick to beaten paths as if you uh, depart from the beaten path, you do tend to actually damage tree roots, and so some redwoods can be damaged because you stepped on tree roots. So I highly recommend sticking to paved paths or some other routes. That over there is Gauss House. Behind these wonderful bushes is Galileo. 
Rutherford, and Descartes. I'm gonna float on this way, and I'm gonna go show you guys the Provost House. So if you guys were to take down this way, that actually, that staircase right over here is the way to go to Stevenson. If you literally just head straight down, then Stevenson. Right over here is the Provost House. Usually there are Meet the Provost events or other really cool alumni events that are hosted there. It's usually once or twice a quarter. Um, although, unfortunately, in-person events are not happening right now, and those are happening over Zoom. Rutherford Lawn, Lower Quad Lawn. And so here, we're in the tour, right back at the program's office. Hope you guys enjoy this tour. Uh, any questions, please email or contact crpo at ucsc.edu. And have a wonderful day. Thank you.